are here because the outside world rejects you. This is your family. Hey, what's up, everyone? So there's a lot of Ninja Turtles news coming out of Comic-Con. Uh, let's start off with this first and big one right here. And this has to do with Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin. A sequel series to the iconic miniseries has been announced. And this happened at Comic-Con at the TMNT IDW panel. The name of the series will be called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Lost Years, A Last Ronin Story. Now, I don't believe the format of the book was explicitly explained, but just putting together things from context, it was my interpretation that we are going to have a similar format to what we had in the last ronin story where there is a storyline going on in the past and a storyline going on in the present but again take that with a grain of salt this is just how i interpreted it with some of the stuff that they were sharing but if i did interpret that correctly let's talk about the past storyline first kevin eastman on the panel said as they were writing the last ronin communicating with the flashback artist ben bishop that ben would ask what happened between this and what happened between that as they were developing the story and that this gave them an idea of a certain time period within the last Ronin story to flesh out. And that period is around the time Mikey shows up to Japan and finds out that Splinter and Donatello had died when he just started walking up into the mountains. And then that journey that he went on afterwards that we do get glimpses of in the last Ronin and then to the point where he returned to New York. So that's the window they're gonna be working with in this story. If you remember some of those flashback scenes showed Michelangelo in somewhat of a Thunderdome type thing fighting a bunch of people and just other scenarios of him abroad on different adventures. They said there was an interesting story there, but that's pretty much all we know for what I believe is going to be the flashback stuff. Now, for those of you who read the last Ronin story, if you remember at the end, there was a tease and this showed April O'Neil and her daughter Casey Marie in a laboratory and they had four new baby turtles that they were giving mutagen ooze to. This raised a lot of questions. And at the panel, somebody asked, are we going to be getting new turtles? Tom Waltz answered, yes, there's gonna be new turtles. Then during the Q&A, Matt, who runs the Nerd of the Rings YouTube channel, asked if the turtles were gonna be named in a similar way, the way the original turtles are named after Renaissance artists. They said that they couldn't comment on that, which I thought was very interesting. Leave your comments down below and let me know if you guys have any theories. Waltz mentioned being able to bridge a gap between the new reality, which is based on the old reality. And he also said that even though there's new turtles, that they'll never go away from the old turtles, that they're always gonna be there and that they'll always be part of the story, a very important part of the story. And judging off of some of the artwork that was revealed, I believe they're gonna do that in the form of the ghost turtles that we saw in the last Ronin story. Although they could do some flashbacks of when they were younger as well. Now these new images here show the ghost turtles in the outfits they were wearing when they died in the last Ronin story, which I thought was pretty interesting. You could see Raphael there in the back, Leonardo right there behind Michelangelo, and then Donatello up front. Now, as the panel was happening, it appears the website io9 got an exclusive and revealed some further details on this sequel, Last Ronin series, and they mentioned that it's gonna be a five issue encore miniseries. So the same as The Last Ronin, which was also five issues. Also that Eastman and Walt would continue to write the series. And finally that Ben Bishop will return on the art side of things alongside S.L. Gallant. If it is a similar format to The Last Ronin with the flashbacks and present stuff, maybe they do something similar with both artists, where one draws the past and the other draws the present. But yeah, we were told that this sequel series will come out in November, so everybody mark your calendars. That's only a few months away, so I expect a bunch of teases and stuff to start dropping soon. We're definitely going to cover all of this. This is going to be a fascinating story to see how Michelangelo went from a lost Ronin to becoming the last Ronin. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Thanks everybody for watching. More videos coming. There was more Ninja Turtles announcements, so hit subscribe if you're new, if you want to catch all that. Remember to follow on all the social media pages. Links are down below in the description. And I will see you guys in a little bit with another one. Take care. Um.